good morning everyone dear children today i am explaining the problems solving the problems expansion lesson problems i will read the question if a square plus b square plus c square value is equal to 35 and ab plus bc plus ca value is equal to 23 find a plus b plus c value children see look here this is given data this is given data we are going to find in that value this three relation identity we know children that identity i will write down in the solution part first we know that a plus b plus c whole square is equal a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 of ab plus bc plus ca children this identity you already learned in from 8th and 7th standard children okay now a plus b plus c whole square is it i i don't want whole square i want only this value a plus b plus c value but given data look here a square plus b square plus c square value is it children so let's substitute instead of this three sum plus 2 into this sum is equal to 23 is it Shall I substitute children? Very easy. Look here. This one we want a plus b plus c whole square is equal. This a square plus b square plus c square. This three terms sum value what is it? Thirty five is it? Plus two into the sum of this three term a b plus b c plus c a value what is it? Use a bracket twenty three. Why? Because this uh, term is having product two only because two into twenty three. What is the next step? Thirty-five as it is, plus two into twenty-three. Two threes are six. Two twos are four. Children. Addition of this two. What happened? You know, five plus uh, six it became eleven. One carry. One plus four five. Five plus three eight. Eighty-one children. Left hand side. A plus B plus C whole square is equal to eighty-one. I want only A plus B plus C value. I don't want whole square children. What can I do? Square root. See here, square is there means we will apply square root. In case here cube is there, we will apply cube root. You know, children. But we will not apply only left hand side. We will apply both sides, children. Okay. Now square root on both sides, children. Very easy. Look here. Square root of square root of. A plus B plus C whole square. See, otherwise A plus B plus C whole square. This is having square root. Is equal to where is constant? Is you use plus or minus square root of eighty one children. Final answer. The square square root cancel. Remaining A plus B plus C is equal to plus or minus. What happened? This one you know children everyone. This one is equal to plus or minus square root of eighty one is a perfect square number of nine. Nine square. This square square root cancel. Finally, we got nine only children. So a plus b plus c is equal to plus or minus nine value. We got children. Understand it. Similar one more problem. I will continue. Let's one more problem, children. I will read the question. If x plus y minus z is equal to four, x y z in between plus and minus is it? X plus y minus z is equal to four is it? And X square plus y square plus z square is equal to thirty. Is it? Then find the value of x y minus y z plus sorry minus z x. I want this value, children. X y minus y z minus z x. By using these two data, by using these two data, we are going to finding this value. How to find, children? Very easy. Uh, before problem, how I solved the based on that identity. That identity I write down here. A plus b plus c. Whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus two into a b plus b c plus c a. Dear children, observe here. A plus b plus c instead of x y z is there. Instead of a plus a b c here x y z is there. Given data. Look here. In the place of a, I will substitute x. In the place of b, I will substitute y. In the place of c, I will substitute minus z. Why? Because here plus c is there. 
because I am using here minus z I will substitute. Shall I substitute now here children? Very easy look here. See x plus b value y minus minus into plus minus z whole square is equal. A value what is it? X x square identity plus b value what is it? Y square plus c value minus z whole square. You should use bracket plus 2 into again a value what is it a value x b value y over plus again b value y into c value use the bracket minus z plus c value use the bracket minus z a value again x children see by using the main identity i am rearranging this one more identity don't take confusion now I will uh, write down uh, this brockets and everything I will remove x plus y minus z whole square is equal to x square as it is plus y square as it is plus as it is minus z whole square is z this square applying minus sign also z also minus into minus if I multiply twice plus will come plus into plus plus only z square plus 2 into xy minus into plus minus yz minus into plus minus zx children look here now observe which which values are there very easy x plus x plus y minus z value 4 is a children shall i substitute 4 this is having square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square value what is it 30 is a plus as it is this value 30 this value 4 whole square is equal to 30 plus 2 into this one we are finding. This one you write as it is xy minus yz minus zx. What can I do? This is having coefficient 2. Then with addition 30. Here right left hand side also constant is there. This constant transfer to left side. What happened? <coughs> 4 square means 16. This 30 comes to right side. What happened? Minus 30. Is equal to 2 into xy minus yz minus zx. What is next step? See now, 4, 4 is 16 minus 30 subtraction. Plus 16 minus 30 subtraction. What is the answer? Minus 14 will come. How means? 10, 0 not subtracted to 6. 10 minus 6, 4. 2 minus 1, uh, 1 children. Neg negative sign, why I, I carried means? Greater number is having negative sign because we are carrying negative sign. Is equal to 2 into xy minus yz minus zx. Now I want only this term, don't want coefficient to transfer to this side, denominator. Understanding, product opposite, uh, say, uh, uh, product opposite application is division. Addition opposite application is uh, subtraction. Subtraction opposite, addition. Like vice versa, addition, subtraction. This two combination, product and division. See this, now it is in product, this comes to denominator, division. Minus 14 upon 2 is equal to xy minus yz minus zx children. Now, what is the next step? 2 1s are 2 7s are. 2 7s are 14. Minus 7 is the value of xy minus yz minus zx children. Got the answer? Easy is it? Should practice. First, you should keep in your mind this identity. Very important. a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 of ab plus bc plus ea. This identity, if you know that, like this, any value change it, will get one more uh, similar identity. Any sign changes is there. By using this identity only, we will get expansion. Don't worry. Easy is that, children. Good luck. Let's, one more problem, dear children. I will read the question. If A plus B plus C is equal to P is there, and AB plus BC plus CA is equal to Q, find A square plus B square plus C square value. See, here, Sum of ABC value P is a product of AB plus product of BC plus product of C is equal to Q is a. We are going to finding the sum of their squares. Now, you know already last problem how we written the identity based on A square A plus B plus C whole square identity. I will write down in the solution part. We know that A plus B plus C whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a children. Understand? a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 of 
AB plus BC plus CA. Now, what is the next step? Now, sum of ABC is equal to P0 means I will substitute in the place of AF sum of ABC P square. This is M square because I am applying here also square is equal to this value we don't know. I will write A square plus B square plus C square plus 2 of this value already is there. AB plus BC plus CA value already is there is equal to Q. You should use the bracket and write the Q. Next, I want this three sum of their squares value I want. This term I will transfer to left side children. What happened? Look here. Left hand side P square as it is. This comes to this side. This is M plus 2Q comes to left side. It became minus 2Q is equal A square plus B square plus C square children. Finally, we got A square plus B square plus C square value is equal to P square into 2Q is the answer. Easy value children. Easy problem. You should practice. Let's, I'll continue one more different problems. Let's one more problem dear children. I will read the question. If x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 0 and x cube plus 4y cube plus 9z cube is equal to 18xyz. Evaluate x plus 2y whole square upon xy plus 2y plus zx whole square upon yz plus 3z plus x whole square upon zx is there. By using these two data we are going to finding this uh, terms some value children. See, now I will come to the solution part children. Very easy is it? Now, now solution part children. First I will write on given data x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 0 children. See, look here. See, these two are data. We are going to evaluating these three terms some children. Here, first term, x plus 2y is here. O square is here. Here, x plus 2y is here. This term not there here. What can I do? This one transfer to uh, left, uh, right side. What happened? Look here, children. Very easy. x plus 2y is equal to minus 3z. This is equation number 1. Okay. Next, similarly, children. See. Similarly, next term observe here. 2y plus 3z. See, from the given first one, 2y plus 3z is there. This one transfer to right side. What happened? Look here. See, that one also I will write. 2y plus 3z is equal to minus x. This is equation number 2, children. Look here, what I did. Given data I written. First term evaluation numerator x plus 2y whole square is there. x plus 2y I wrote in left hand side. This term I wrote in right side. Equation number 1 I gave. Next, second term, evaluation term, 2y plus 3z. 2y plus 3z from the given data. This two I wrote in left side. This x transfer to right side. Okay. Now, third term, what is it? Third term, what is it? 3z plus x. 3z plus x, I will write left hand side only children. Look here. 3z. 3z plus x. See, 3z and x, I wrote left hand side. Remaining 2y goes to right side, minus 2y. This is equation number 3. See, what can I do now? You understand already. See, now, uh, evaluation part I will write here. See, instead of x plus 2y, what can I write? Instead of x plus 2y, I will write minus 3z whole square. Instead of x plus 2y, I wrote minus 3z whole square. Otherwise, one second, this one I will write down down. If you want, look here. See, given uh, question x plus 2y whole square upon xy plus 2y plus 3z whole square upon yz plus 3z plus x whole square upon zx children. This complete value I want. Evaluation. Evaluate means. Now, instead of x plus 2y, I will write, what is that? Minus 3z whole square. Instead of x plus 2y, I wrote minus 3z. This is angle whole square, whole square. Upon xy as it is. In between plus. Next, 2y plus 3z. Instead of 2y plus 3z, I, I may make it, I made it minus x. This is angle whole square, whole square. Upon yz plus. Now, 3z plus x. 3z plus x uh, came from given data. 
see what is equal to 2y minus 2y this is having also whole square upon zx now see look here these three fractions i will take lcm denominator till the last class one, one one student asked how we will take the lcm of the variables i told already look here children very easy 2 and 3 lcm this two are prime number 2 and 3 lcm 2 3 is a 6 we will write like x and y this two are this two are not divisible by any single number and variable x into y xy the x and y lcm is xy like similarly xy yz zx this three lcm is x y z will come understand children easy look here you know 4 6 8 lcm what will come 2 2 4 2 3 6 2 4 2 1 3 2 2 2 2 1 3 3 2 1 2 2 3 as it is next 3 1 2 See, two two is a four, four two is a eight, eight three is a twenty-four will come. This LCM is twenty-four. Like here also, x y instead of x y four, you should think y z six, z x eight. This LCM is twenty-four. Like similarly, x y y z z x LCM is x y z children. Understand how we how I taken that uh, variable LCM? You should practice, should uh, learn from seventh and uh, eighth lessons. Now. This three terms LCM x y z. Okay, first fraction denominator what is it? X y. We are equating to LCM. Here x y z is it? We want here multiplication by z. And numerator also multiply by z children. Otherwise, before taking the LCM, I will do one more work. What happen? Look here children. First numerator term I will simplify first. Look here. See, x y denominator as it is minus multiply twice it became plus. 3 square means 9 z square means z square understand this simplification is very important first before take the lcm plus as it is y z denominator as it is minus x whole square this minus multiply twice it became plus x square means x square only plus see the here also denominator z x is a here minus is having power 2 because it became plus 2 square means 4 will come y square means y square now I will come to the LCM part. I told already same x y y z and z x LCM is x y z children. Okay. Now this fraction denominator y x y z we want z z multiplied numerator it became nine z cube. Numerator what will come nine z cube will come. Why because this one multiplied by z this one also multiplied by z nine into z square into z became nine z cube plus as it is. This fraction denominator y z is it multiply by x here also multiply by x it became x cube plus here multiply by y y because denominator z x is it here lcm x y z is it we want one more y y multiply new denominator and numerator numerator became four y cube will come here square is it four y cube will come what is the next step children observe that one this one observe numerator given data x cube here is it plus four y cube Plus nine z cube. Easy call what will come? Easy call what is it? Eighteen x y z upon x y z. Easy call to finally x x y y z z cancel. Final answer is eighteen only children. Finally we got x plus two y whole square upon x y plus two y plus three z whole square upon y z. Plus three z plus x all square upon z x value is equal to eighteen only children. I will give brief revision. Given data I return. What I want numerator x plus two y. From this one I make it x plus two y is the left hand side term. Minus plus three z goes to right side. It becomes minus three z. This equation number one. Like similarly, these two terms also I make it subject of the formula. This value I substituted. Instead of x plus two y, I substituted minus three z minus x minus two y like this. Then I simplified numerator terms. Next step, I took denominator LCM. Then uh, numerator instead of numerator term, we know that what is the given data? X cube plus four y cube plus nine z cube is equal to eighteen x y z. Instead of numerator from the given data, I wrote eighteen x y z. Divided by denominator x y z as it is numerator x y z product denominator x y z product cancel finally we got answer eighteen only children easy is it.